Ultimate Toy Collector here. Today, we're going to take a look at Hasbro's new Star Wars Forces of Destiny. Uh, this is Ray of Jakku and BB-8 2-pack. Uh, these are the new female figures. They're, I guess, pretty much like uh, Barbie dolls of the lead female Star Wars characters. Uh We've taken a look at Leia with the Ewok. Now we're taking a look at uh, Rey with BB-8. It's pretty cool. I got to definitely say that uh, I like the way um, the previous two-pack came out, um, and my daughter is a fan of it. So I did what any dad would do, and I hunted down the uh, the rest of the figures for her, and she's going to let me take a look at them first, and then she's going to have her way with them. So any dads out there, these are definitely a big hit with their daughters. Um, with our daughters and especially if they're fans of Star Wars. So um, there's two or actually three different types of uh, packages that are coming out. There's the single pack, which will just have the figure. There's the two pack, which will have the figure with either a droid or the um, Ewok. And then there's uh, like a deluxe version that will have uh, an extra outfit, the droid or ewok and um obviously the figure so uh just so you know that um when you're looking at them you'll see the differences in the price range that's what you're gonna see so uh packaging's cool um it, it's a window style packaging you can see everything that you get here you got bb8 obviously you have right here with a lightsaber um and let's just take a look I'll turn that around for you guys and here's the back of the package. It says right here, Ray always stands up for what she believes in, and BB-8 is a feisty, loyal droid. They stick together in their adventure. So um, it looks like right here she's able to swing her lightsaber, and it also says that BB-8's head spins. So that's pretty cool. All right, uh, and just uh, if you're looking, the other two female figures that they have out, Jen and Sabine. So, uh, I did pick up Sabine, and I also picked up the other Leia. Uh, I did not pick up Jen, though, however. Uh, so, let's open this. Oh, also, if you're looking for the UPC, there you go. So, if you're trying to hunt these bad boys down, trying to find a DPCI, item number or uh, what what might have you there you go screenshot that take it to the store do your thing so uh let's open this up and take all right so here is ray out of the package um with her trusty droid she comes with two accessories her lightsaber and she comes with a pistol um a little thigh holster there so um i like the face sculpt on this we're going to take a closer look at her we're going to take a closer look at her accessories and, of course, we're going to take a look at BB-8. All right, so I definitely like the way that um, Ray looks here. If uh, you can see her little freckles, the eyes, uh, definitely did a good job on her. Um, the hair, all around, definitely. Um, I know if I think she looks cute, you know, my daughter's going to like her. So here we put the lightsaber in her hand. And the way you get her to move her lightsaber is you squeeze her legs. So let me see. Let's put her here. Ready? It's almost like a, uh, a batting motion. Which is pretty cool. Um, and then we have her thigh holster here. I did not remove the plastic that keeps the uh, blaster in there. I'll let my daughter do that if she decides to. So, uh, like I said, the mechanism to make her move is to squeeze the legs together like so. Uh, let's take a look at the lightsaber. Let's take that out of her hand. Don't go anywhere, Ray. All right. So, pretty good job on the uh, on the lightsaber. Now the question is, does it detach? And I'm not putting a lot of force into this, but just enough and it's not popping out. 
So guess what? I'm not going to try to see if it detaches. Yeah, I'm pulling on this pretty hard right now. And it's not coming out. Oh, there we go. All right, so look. Uh, just in case you're curious, it does detach. You won't break it. All right. Uh, you, she can carry it without the lightsaber being extended. And then you can just pop that into place right there. Now I'm not going to tell my daughter that cause it'll probably end up broken. Let's take a look at the, uh, the doll itself. You have soft goods on top and you have, um, some molded goods over uh, the body here down here you have other molded goods into the waist so this is the portion that spins so down here is a um, molded soft goods this is cloth soft goods uh, and then down here in the legs it's all texturized now let's see can we take the boots off if you are wondering, because I know my daughter is going to wonder, the boots do come off. And they seem to slide on rather easily. So, I don't know about you, uh, but my daughter loves taking all of the clothes off of her figures. Um, all of her Barbies, all of her DC superhero girls. And, uh, yeah, let's just say that the Leia doll that I got her ended up without her clothes for a minute, too. And right here, uh, so Ray has the sleeves. These do come down. And one thing that I noticed um, with Leia, which was good, uh, was a little hard getting the sleeves over the over the hands. The hands do detach, so you could pull these down and then just pop the uh, pop the hand back in. That was one little trick that I learned with the Leia doll. Let's take a look at the back. I like the print stitch, the stitching. I like the legs and I like the holster. Um, the holster, let's see if the holster detaches. The holster does detach over here on the hip. All right, and it looks like so does the skirt here. This will detach also. So you can just take that off. So I can already tell there's going to be two pieces that I'm going to be searching for because she's going to take them off, most definitely. <clears throat> All right, and so again, we have the blaster here. Overall, I think this is probably one of my favorite ones so far. Well, if I had to pick between Leia and Rey, uh, I definitely like this doll. And let's just take a look at BB-8 real quick. So here's our trusty droid. Size comparison. That's how big it is next to our doll. So it comes up to just below the knee. Now, um, cool thing is the head spins. spins all the way around now when you go to place it down it does have almost a flat bottom but it's just enough so that it won't topple over and there you go so here's our trusty droid with our, I'm assuming, our soon-to-be Jedi, considering that Luke's lightsaber was calling to her. So here you go. This is Hasbro's Forces of Destiny uh, Ray of Jakku with BB-8.
the lightsaber and uh and the blaster I'm gonna, it's a uh, father approved and it will be daughter approved most likely within a couple hours so I, i'm gonna give this to my daughter and um see see what she uh what she thinks of it so um stay tuned guys i'm gonna be checking out uh two more of the forces of destiny uh figures and you let me know what you think um check me out on facebook instagram and youtube the ultimate toy collector and uh, until next time may the force be with you